Well, today we're in a Deutz Far 5080D. Stick with me. We're at BFE Bishop Farm Equipment in Bishop, Texas. Come check it out. Dutz, Dutz. How do you say that? Dutz, Dutz. I'm not sure. This is the 580D keyline. And that's keyline, like L I N E, not lime. L I N E. Keyline. So I've been thinking about buying another tractor. I'm not sure if it's going to happen yet or not, but we're looking at buying another tractor. And I've heard good things about Dotes 4. I know that they put their engines in other tractors. Uh, I think TYM it has has a, a Dotes 4 engines in them. They are they are supposed to be one of the top brands. They're German-made tractor. Uh, these tractors are made in Germany. Uh, they're well designed. They're they're comfortable. Uh, nice looking tractors. They got the lime green uh, color to them. We're going to take a look at this tractor. I think what we're going to do though is we're going to start. Uh, let's just start on the inside so you have to use the clutch in order to shift gears and you have you have a forward position or reverse position just like you do on any other shuttle shift tractor but you have to use the clutch to, in order to shift the gears so it does have a true third function on it uh, on your loader it, it's already actually on the tractor. The Dotes Far puts the third function on the tractor. There is nothing you need to do. It has the valve for it. It has the third function in the front already installed on it. There are three buttons on the back side of this for that third function system. And that's a that is a really nice setup they have done. It does have your. It also has your mirrors, your three mirrors, your outside mirrors, your inside mirror. You have three remotes or three SCVs. All three of them are detent. They, you pull up on this, you pull it back and let go and it locks that into detent to take it out. You pull that back up and, and it drops out. It also has a float mode. That's your float mode right there. So you have that float mode option, but these tractors come standard with all three remotes. This is your throttle control right here. It has two buttons so you can set pre preset two positions on there these buttons right here are for uh, auxiliary ports for the, the loader uh, those ports I believe from my understanding are things like a hydraulic disconnect for the uh, bucket as well as uh, you know, if you have um, like like a uh, a post hole digger or something that runs off a of hydraulics that's what these buttons are for so it does have a three range transmission in it. It is a five speed, so that makes it a total of 15 speeds. Nicely, nice shift. You have your four wheel drive button, your differential lock here. You also have your, your light controls up here on the front here, <clears throat> and you have a horn. The dash is nicely laid out with your fuel gauge, your tachometer, and your temperature this is important guys there are tractors out there right now that do not have the temperature gauge in them and i don't know why you need a temperature gauge in your tractor okay <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot to clog up your radiator temperature gauges are important this trip particular one is brand new set on a lot got 2.5 hours on it it does have a speed right here uh, and there are, I'm, sure, I'm sure there are buttons here. These buttons here to go through the modes. I'm not going to go run through all the modes on it. I don't know enough about this tractor to... I don't know enough about this tractor to, to, to be messing with stuff. So I'm not going to run through all the modes on it. You have this... This is your PTO startup right here. And then you have your emergency brake. So it looks like to me you have a neutral position. And then you have your PTO 540 an air ride seat this is an air ride seat it's not a gram seat but it is an air ride seat it has a button here for you pull it out to let the air out you push it in to push air in but the side windows do open the back window opens the doors open and the front window opens let's take it for a quick spin let's 
let's put it in let's put it in turtle which is probably a medium mode we've got it in, we've got it shifted into re reverse and then we got to use the clutch to get out of here make sure you take your parking brake off nice sounding motor man I'll tell you what that motor sounds really good we're gonna go into we're gonna go into fourth gear let's go for a quick ride Let's see if it's synchro. Yep, you can shift. Again, you have to use you have to use your clutch to do any of this. So, as far as the Dotes Far tractor goes, and just my first impressions of it, for a simple tractor without a lot of whistles and bells, this is a nice tractor. Uh, they really are. It's heavy made. We're going to get out and take a look at that here in just a moment. Very heavy made tractor. Um, drives nice. Um, we're running about 2100 rpm right now uh just riding around in the, in the parking lot here at, at uh, uh, bishop farm equipment bishop farm equipment they're in bishop texas they are a goats doits they are a doits far dealer this is in a size range that i'm looking for uh and, and remember it has to do with i'm looking for a little bit smaller than my 573 this has a, has more horsepower than my 573 but it's a little bit smaller tractor so it is a synchronized shift. You can shift on the go, but you do have to use the clutch for everything. <laughs> there is no D-clutch button on these tractors. The rumor is though, is that there's something gonna come out here very soon. I'm hoping to see that. I would love to see one of those come out and get to ride around and drive around on one of those uh, to see how that compares. Now I will tell you, before we get too far into the video here, that this tractor, <clears throat> this tractor, it's 2024. This tractor has a price tag somewhere in the mid 50s. Okay, it's about 55-ish, maybe 56,000 for this tractor the way it's set up. But remember, this tractor already has your three remotes on it. It has, uh, it it has a, a true third function in it, and uh, there are other features that I'm probably, I mean, I'm not going to be able to, to mention all. Uh, all of them. It does have a heavy-duty front-end loader on it. Um, I don't know the specs on the loader at this moment, but I will try to get some of that information out there. This is a the, these little these Deutz far tractors are nice tractors, um, and actually I'm really enjoying driving this one. So I'm going to run this back over and park it. We'll get out and take a look on the outside of it. We'll take a look around it. I like the Deutz. This is a, a really nice, nice tractor. They're very simple. They're not, they're, there's not a lot of electronics that I see on it. Um, I'm sure they're there though. So let's, let's pop the hood on this thing. It looks like a button right here, and then, and then the hood comes up. It's a little bit, there we go. Get in here, take a look at this area here. So like I said, this is the first time I've ever looked at one. Um, This tractor comes with fenders on it. I've never had, a, never had a tractor with fenders on it. It does have a self-leveling loader on it. It is a quick attach loader, so it comes off, looks like pretty easily. Get in there, get, get you a listen to that motor.
Looks like your oil checks on the what I would call you to say the passenger side of the tractor right here. Uh, looks like you have an oil filter here. Your air filter box. Looks like the radiator does not, or the, the condenser coil doesn't come out or move, so the, but it does have room to get between them to blow them out. Let's go walk around to the business end of this tractor and take a look at it. So I don't, so it's got the three remotes. This is standard, guys. These are, this is standard on this tractor. You do not need to order this with this tractor. This comes with three remotes on it. Look at these he the heavy, heavy duty, uh, three point hitch here. It uses the cylinders to assist with the lift. It does have the adjustable link arms here. They're like, there's a screw type. You'll notice here you have a nice heavy draw bar on the back of this thing. Uh, the three-point arms do not have the adjustable or link ends on them. <laughs> does not have the adjustable link ends on them. Now this, I like. This unscrews, so if you want to cover your PTO up, you don't have something that just pops on there and falls off later on when you're driving in the pasture. This actually unscrews off of here, so if you want to keep it covered up, you have, you have this that screws on and it's made out of steel. This is not made out of plastic. A lot of them are made out of plastic if they even have them. Mine is not even on mine anymore. It does have the three-point lever on the outside here. This is an interesting, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the New Holland system where they use a, 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 a kind of a gear. And I'm gonna get you in here and let you look at that here in just a minute. But you can raise, you can raise your three-point a little bit at a time instead of all at once so let me get you in here so you can see that if you look right in here there's a gear and you move this lever out and you can go to different gears like for example and bring bring your three-point hitch up or down with that uh, with that gear or that lever it has uh, plenty of work lights on it they are quartz though they're not LED has the fenders has these fenders on it this is where your fueling state is at that's uh nice and low has the two steps these steps are closer together um than what's because this the tractor is a little bit shorter so the steps and it's, it's a very comfortable to get into loader does come off got your kickstands right here a little bit different on the setup here the way they they do this this, this pulls back and lifts that and lifts that lever up see this pulls back to lift lift the lever up i'm kind of kind of used to the ones that go sideways here they, they flip down and then up these are pulling backwards and lifting that lever up like i said the the loader frame is nice and thick i, I like to see this piece nice and thick i think some of the tractors are not putting uh, when it comes to this part, not making them thick enough. It had, does have insert grease certs on it all the way through. These are covered up, but they do have the, the grease certs that are, they're, they do have them covered up though. It's got a battery disconnect. That's something you don't see a lot of. These are, it's, <laughs> It's a long, narrow toolbox, but it's made out of steel and not cheesy plastic. That's nice. Your floor mat is, is screwed down. It doesn't come up or move out of the way very easily. It has a, a beacon light on it. Now here's something that I haven't brought out before on on too many of the tractors that we've looked at before. You look right here, this tractor has three buttons. Two of these are for your, your third function on the front. The third one is for your soft ride. So this loader, this, tra this tractor has a soft ride on the loader. Sometimes you can tell that uh, just based upon some, some of the way the, 
valve is done. I think that soft right is inside of here. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to pull that off. I think this is a very nice tractor. There's some things I, I, I don't like, but there's some things I really do like. And I, I give you the opportunity to see more about this particular line of tractor. I know that we've been looking at, you know, we've been running the LS and we're, we're talking about the LS a lot. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's okay to step outside and take another look at some of the other brands that are out there. Nice people here. One, I met a couple of them. Really nice. Get out here to Bishop Equipment. They're down close to Corpus, Corpus Christi. So you, if you ever taken a trip down here, and you want to go down to the coast like Port Aransas or Port A. Maybe shoot over to Bishop and take a look at the to take a look at these Dotes Far tractors. But I appreciate everybody. Until next time, though. Thanks.